Hi, this is Joe Willis with the LSU Ag Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about a disease that if you're growing cucurbits, and cucur by cucurbits I mean cucumbers, squash, cantaloupes, watermelons, those sorts of things, this is a disease that you're probably going to see, uh, especially in our area. If we take a look over here, this is a summer squash, and you see it's got the powdery mildew. These spots and specks of fluffy material growing on the top of your leaf. And you can see, you can even see there's also see the fungal mats on the underside of the leaf. Powdery mildew likes high humidity and cooler weather. And so, so far we haven't gotten into the summer heat yet, and so you're probably going to see powdery mildew on your cucurbits. So if you see it, what are you going to do about it? Well, there's several fungicides that you can use. You can use a copper-based fungicide. Mancozeb is a good fungicide. But for homeowners, uh, one thing which we can really recommend is neem oil. This has been shown to be pretty effective against a lot of fungi. You can use it right up to the day of harvest, so it's a really safe uh, product to use. And it's going to protect your cucurbits and your squash, especially what you're treating now, from the fungal infection. The you want to follow the label directions and use as much protective equipment as you can. Uh, for this particular product, we use one ounce per gallon. So I, what I've measured out here is a quarter ounce of the neem oil. We'll put that into our little nifty pump-up sprayer here. And you'll notice I am wearing protective gloves. Even though the product is relatively safe, it can be an irritant. So uh, use as much protection as you can. There's no problem with being overprotected, as we know now with this coronavirus happening. And neem oil is a contact fungicide, so it only protects where it is. So when you spray your plants, as I'm going to show here, you want to make sure you're covering the entire plant. And with neem oil, like most uh, pesticides, you don't want to use them if it's going to be over 85 degrees. The labels will usually tell you that. But when the temperature gets really hot, what you're using as a fungicide or an insecticide can actually damage your plants. Now as I'm treating this area of the garden where all the squash are growing for powdery mildew, when I get to this area, as you can see, the disease is much further along. It started, this is what the, the leaves will, will happen to the leaves as the disease progresses. So when you see leaves like that, or even ones like this, that have a very heavy infection, the best thing to do is to remove those leaves before you treat. Now those we'll put over here and then dispose of them not in your compost pile but in your garbage because if you put them in a compost pile you're just saving the disease spores for later on. So where you have heavy infection remove the leaves first as we've done with this when we move a, remove a couple of leaves that are heavily infected because these leaves are going to die anyway, so they're not going to be of any value to the plant. So we remove those, and now we treat the remaining leaves with our neem oil. And as I said, neem oil is a contact fungicide, insecticide. So ideally, what you want to do is treat the entire plant, and as best as you can, treat the back sides of the plant. Because even though right now we're treating for powdery mildew, by treating the whole plant like this, we're also going to be protecting it from insect attacks, such as aphids, who will feed only on the underside of the leaf. Now we've gotten that control on the underside as well. For the LSU Ag Center, this is Dr. Joe.